Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Things are finally coming to a head. Like a big fat zit that you wanna pop! Gross. Yeah! We're gonna pop the <laughs> zit of crime on this guy! So, you wanna play hardball, eh? Please, Mr. Jack. Haha, <laughs> fine. My name is Damon Jan. I'm the acting chief of police. Now then, Chief Jan, the court requests to hear your testimony. Ho oh, ho, righto. What's with the grim face? First, let's clear up this SL9 incident. Oh, you mean that time when Lana's sister murdered that prosecutor? Personally, I think it's been made pretty clear already. Ah, ah, ah. There are still some things unaccounted for. Oh? Like what? Like the role you played in all this. Uh, son? Either you're very brave, or very foolish. Hmm. You are aware, of course, that a police chief has all kinds of- Wow! He is directly threatening me, again, in court. What the fuck? Weapons? Sure, take my testimony, for example. I don't have to give it if I don't want to. What? Is that true? I'm afraid so. The chief belief has the right to refuse to testify. Why the fuck? Of course, such an action carries with it certain risks. <laughs> don't worry, I'm not here to hinder your trial. Just remember... If this turns out to be a big waste of time, don't say I didn't warn you. Very well, the witness may now begin his testimony. <clears throat> Kagashi. <laughs> As I recall, Neil and I were questioning him that day. To make a long story short, we slipped up. That power outage didn't help either. Fucking hair. Maybe I should get a scrunchie. When I went to my office, I found <laughs> Lana there, without a scrunchie either. Apparently, she had already arranged the crime scene. <laughs> As you can see, I had nothing to do with the forgery. Ooh, I'm here to bust your ass wide open! Hmm, is that when Dark was arrested? Him? He was lying on the floor unconscious. <laughs> Wait, I thought that the bodies were found on top of each other, so... Yeah. When Emma sent Neo flying, it seems Dark bumped his head. I see. Everything seems pretty clear-cut. If the police chief has the right to refuse to testify, then I'd better hit him hard and fast! He's dead. He's a gun! <laughs> <laughs> Just okay. fucking straight up shoot him. Oh yeah, good idea, it's safe. Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> As I recall, Neil and I were qu- Oh, I don't have to do all that. Uh... HOLD IT! Want to again. No, I don't want to. As I recall, How the ceremony you, was held at the police department that day. Yes, that's right. I guess you could say I'm a workaholic. Haha. <laughs> I work hard and then I party harder. After winning his award, Neil was all fired up too. That's probably what spooked Dark and made him run away like that. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Okay. I was just looking away. Was the defendant on the sky also present in this room? I don't quite remember. At the very least, she wasn't there when Dark ran for it. To make a long story short, we slipped up. How? So the two of you ran immediately after him, right? That's right, but Dark made it to the elevator first. So Neil and I split up. He went upstairs and I went downstairs. I guess you could say he got lucky. What is it about a power outage? Oh, that. The elevator stopped all of a sudden, and I got the shock of my life. Well, probably not as shocked as Neil was when that knife went through his heart, though. Am I right? <laughs> That's not funny. Am I right, Marshall? I know you're in the stands. <laughs> 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 oh my... Could you tell us what you saw? It was a shocking sight. 
Neo and that serial killer are lying in a heap on the floor. Aha, you've already fucked up. Dark was also lying collapsed on the floor? Yes, apparently he hit his head and was knocked out. <laughs> Next to them were those two poor girls. Lana and Emma. Yes, we know who they are. Lana was craning Emma in her arms. Looking back at it now, she must have already known what her sister had done. <clears throat> Apparently she'd already arranged the end scene. How can you know that? Because of the victim's body. It had already been moved. So that means... You found the body near Lana's desk. That's right. <clears throat> I think you said earlier, it was my suit of armor that really stabbed the prosecutor. Yes. Mm. Anyway... <clears throat> As you can see, I had nothing to do with the forgery. So you're saying that the forgery had already been taking place by the time you arrived at the office? That's exactly what I'm saying. I can understand how Lana must have felt, <laughs> but moving a body and hiding evidence are inexcusable no matter the circumstances. Is that how it really went down? Staring at the witness won't do you any good, Mr. Wright. I'm practicing my psychic powers, Edgeworth! Fuck off! That won't help you either. Ah! <laughs> if you're going to stare at anything, better, you'd be better off staring at the court record. Ha! Oh, yeah! How does this help me, though? No evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police department. Oh yeah, he had to approve everything. Yeah. Worthy, worthy, always the smooth talker. But which piece of evidence ties Jant to the forgery? <clears throat> Lana did admit to forging evidence, but that can't be the whole truth. <clears throat> Somehow I've got to link Chant to the incident. Alright, I think it's the handprint that he made. <clears throat> yeah! Music stopped! If you really had nothing to do with the forgery... Then how do you explain this? Well, what's that? And what's on it? The handprint? Chief Jan, your explanation, please. God, this fucking hair. I refuse. I don't know. You tell me, son. Huh? My dear Rido, don't you know? The second rule of evidence law... Oh, motherfucker. Unregistered evidence present must be relevant to the case. I will fucking devour your soul! <laughs> you would be a terrible lawyer, <laughs> I fit right in here, are you kidding me? You got fucking here, clowns and guns and law? cameras and threatening people. I would fit right in. Uh-oh, not this again. <laughs> evidence law. Rude. You would definitely be just immediately, like, caked out. Like... <laughs> I will eat your soul! <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Rule 2. Unregistered evidence present must be relevant to the case on trial. Tell me, how is that rag relevant to this trial? It appears the defense was not prepared. Fuck you, Judge! I guess it's too early to use this piece of evidence. Please accept my profound apologies, Chief. Would you mind giving the defense on the fence? <laughs> well, okay. I'll do it just this once, but only because you asked, Edgy. Thank you. I assure you the defense is terribly sorry. <laughs> yeah, sorry I didn't nail you. Wait, so it was wrong? I didn't get consequence for that, though, so I think that was the right move. I think so. Power outage went to the office, found Lana there. She had already arranged the crime scene. Nothing to do with the forgery. I'm gonna save.
because there wasn't really a consequence for that, so... Let's see. <clears throat> no. No, parking stub. Uh, oh, the pot! That was in his, uh, safe too. Oh, yeah. Piece of it was in a safe. You claim you had nothing to do with the forgery. But I'm afraid that is a claim you cannot back up. Explain yourself. Several pieces of evidence were found in your office. Take this jar, for example. Uh, it's a blue badger you showed us early. Judge, please. Fucking... Ugh. A piece of this jar was discovered in your safe. <clears throat> Not only that, but the evidence list I presented earlier was actually found inside your desk! It was found where? You see, Chief Jant, these articles of evidence uncovered in your office are both concrete proof that you also played a part in the illegal investigation! Chief Jant, what's the meaning of this? Oh! Here's a defense attorney who may even rival Worthy. Thank you? So you admit to it then, that you were involved in the forgery? Who, me? Or do you mean... you? Me? Why would I have anything to do with that? Well, you were the one who snuck into my office when you found this evidence. What? Prosecutors aren't the only ones capable of forging evidence, you know. Defense attorneys can do so too. Isn't that right, Rhino? I would never, you bitch! However, Detective Gumshoe was present during the investigation. Worthy, my boy. Not even detectives are exempt from the law. Rest assured, Dick will receive his due punishment. He'll get what I call a dick slap. What? what? If Detective Gumshoe's salary drops any further, he'll end up paying to work! Jesus Christ. I feel bad for Gumshoe. I know. Dude be better off working at fucking McDonald's or something. Fuck. At this point, yeah. But yes, well, in light of the detective's presence, please give us your testimony regarding these pieces of evidence found in your office. <clears throat> and their relation to the forgery that took place at the crime scene. My, my. Kids these days no longer know how to put two and two together. Back in my day... <laughs> Uh, let's see, what was it now? A jar fragment and a list? I can lie about that. <clears throat> For all I know, you could have planted them in my office. Anyway, you can't prove when those pieces of evidence were discovered. If they were found after Dark was convicted, then they're worthless. There's no reason I'd participate in a forgery. Rearranging the crime scene wouldn't help me out in any way. Except You're it would. a liar! A big fat fucking liar! Mm. Oh, Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? Please stop singing. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're investigating the crime scene. You should have been more careful to observe protocol. What fucking protocol?! You have cameras with clowns and guns and you let people insult me directly to my face?! There's no fucking protocol! You do understand that I am the chief of police, right? <laughs> there will be consequences. Oh. Indeed, I believe I will press charges, so you won't make the same mistake again. My apologies, chief, but would you mind waiting until tomorrow for that? Today is, well, you know. It's hot dog day. Please, I'm hungry. <laughs> I haven't had my lunch either. They won't let me leave. <laughs> All right, Edgy. In return, though... I know, I know. That place, right? Huh? What are these guys telepathic? Uh, what are these guys telepathic? <laughs> oh, I know you could have planned in my office. Fuck you! I'd appreciate it if you stopped making these ridiculous allegations! Yes, you do have a point. You wouldn't have the guts to do something like that. What? I'll have you know, back in the day... Oh, no. Oh, my God. Uh, I'll have you know, back in the day, I once broke into a cattle ranch and tipped... Mr. Wright, what are you saying? Oh 
You couldn't do a crime. <laughs> Shows what you know. I've done crime. Lots of crime. All the crimes. <laughs> anyway, you can't prove you didn't carry in the evidence, can you? If you have proof to the contrary, you're going to need it later. Well, later? What are you talking about? What else? I'm talking about when Rido's prints are found. <laughs> yes, if they're found inside my safe, they would prove his investigation was illegal. Ah, I've never faced anyone as slimy as this guy. I don't know, the, the multi-billionaire dude was pretty slimy. Yeah. Mr. Red, or was it blue? No, Mr. White it was of Mr. Red, Red White. Blue. Right, Red White of Blue Corp. That's, that's what it was. Yep, Mr. Red White of Blue Corp. What do you mean by that? This is all purely hypothetical, of course. But suppose I did place those items in my safe. Such an act wouldn't necessarily constitute forgery. If concealing evidence found at a crime scene isn't forgery... I'm not through speaking yet, Rido. It all depends on when the evidence was discovered. If they're found after Dark was convicted, then they're worthless. Fuck! <clears throat> Are you saying this jar fragment wasn't discovered in the initial investigation? It would appear not. After all, it wasn't listed in the evidence list. For all we know, it could have suddenly materialized the day after Dark was sentenced. Oh, and wouldn't that be convenient? Right. Mm. The chief's talking about a possibility, as long as he can't rule that out. The remarks, however clever they may be, will only succeed in wasting time. My finger looks like a sausage. <laughs> Tell me something I don't know. At least I don't waste an entire bottle of hair gel, right? I, it looks stylish! <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely sensitive about his hair. Come now, right? No, no doubt. Think about it. No reason I'd put speak. Woo! How can you look me in the eye and say that? Because I'm innocent. <clears throat> Remember? Who was it that murdered Neil? Uh, I'm not sure I care to hear the word murder here. But in the end, the person responsible for Mr. Marshall's unfortunate demise was Emma Sky. Well, now do you see? Rearranging the crime scene and help me out anyway. Really, Chief Jant? At the very least, there is one very large benefit you've reaped from all this. Oh? I wasn't aware. What is this benefit? That would of course be the position you have, Chief of Police. Oh. The resolution of the SL9 incident secured your promotion to Chief. That in itself is sufficient motive. <coughs> mm. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, that's a good one. Huh? <coughs> do you really think I'm that incompetent? What do you, what do you mean? Even without that case, I was already in line to become the next chief. The resolution of SL9 merely sped up the inevitable. Is that true, Edgeworth? Yes. He was going to be made chief anyway. Ah! Be careful when <laughs> pointing that finger, or you might wind up the one being pointed at. So that means... Like this, right. <laughs> There's only one possible motivation for you to commit forgery. If you didn't do it for yourself, then you did it for someone else. Got you! <laughs> Don't be silly, Worthy. You know me better than that. There are only three people I look out for. Me, myself, and I. And our Lord and Savior up above. Mwah, miss you, Satan. <laughs> I miss you, Dracula. <laughs> Specifically, Castlevania <laughs> Dracula. <laughs> there, it's out in the open now. Uji, would you mind if I change my testimony a little? By all means, please do. Oh my god, so much fun. I wouldn't be anyone's accomplice if there was nothing in it for me. Nothing in it for you? Sorry, but the only person I care about is yours truly. The rest of you can all go get fucked for all I care. Even the judge! 
that girl? Yeah, we're still going out to eat, right? Yeah, you're paying, though. Lana's little sister, was it? <laughs> if you think I felt sorry for her, you better think again. God damn, what a shit. What an All right. asshole. Alright, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you later. Adios.